Hello. How can I help you? I'm here to visit my dad. His name is Polnikova. It's all right. You can go in the room back there. We'll bring your dad to you right away. How long can I talk to my daughter? You've got ten minutes. Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much for coming. Hi, Dad. How are you? Are you getting along? Everything is okay so far. I need to tell you something, though. Very good, there is no one here. It's very dangerous for me in here. What happened? I've brought a few people in here. They're dangerous people. They want to hurt me. Can't you talk to the police about it? That is the problem. The police are on their side. It's not safe for me here. I need you to get me out of here. I don't know if I can do that. How am I supposed to do it? Here is Angela's number. I need you to call her and tell her to get me out of here. We have an emergency plan for such situations. It's called No Chains. Tell her she needs to start the plan. But doesn't that make me liable to prosecution? My life is at stake here. Be a good girl and do as I say. Did you understand? Okay, I'll see what I can do. Your time is over, Polnikova. You're coming with me now. See you soon, sweetie. Remember what I said. I love you. Love you too, Dad. Hi, Angela. This is Sarah, Mr. Polnikova's daughter. Hi, Sarah. I know who you are. How can I help you? I went to see my dad today. He asked me to tell you something. You should initiate the no chains a plan. Is he sure? Once we've initiated the plan, then there is no turning back. Yes, I think he's certain. What exactly does the plan look like? I'm sorry, but I can't tell you that. The less you know, the better. I'll make every precaution. Then we can start the plan. Okay, thank you so much. You can thank me when we have successfully completed the plan. Who was that Angela? That was Polnikova's daughter. He told her that we should initiate the no chains a plan. Is he sure? He knows what that means, doesn't he? Yes, he knows that. We also know what that means. We need to get the whole team ready right away. And we need the helicopter. I'll take care of it. You can count on me. Thank you all for coming. We're starting what is likely to be our most difficult operation until today. You know what you have to do. Good luck everyone. We're going to need it. We can get in. The Uno Chains operation begins. We need to find Polnikova. He must be here somewhere. Put your hands up. Right now. Please don't hurt us. We'll do anything you want. Where is Mr. Polnikova? He's in the back of cell 503. You will stay right here. Don't get the idea of bringing in reinforcements. Maria, you stay here and look after them. Okay, Captain. Come along, Kristoff. 
We're moving on. Hello, Mr. Polnikova. Angela, you did it. We're here to get you out. Come with us, quick. We cannot waste any time. The special unit will arrive in 10 minutes, I guess. We must be gone by then. Understood. Can you open the door? I need to crack the lock first. Just a bit more. Bingo. The door opens. Thank you, Angela. Let's get out of here. Where are we going? You are going into the helictopper with me. This is the fastest way for us to get to your home. Kristoff, you're taking the tank. We might need you again. All right, Captain. We'll fly to your home first. Then you'll have 10 minutes to pack your stuff. It's all right. There is enough time. Does your family already know? No, I couldn't tell them. Prison telephones are being tapped. Understood. Then you have another serious conversation ahead of you. I'll wait for you here. Please hurry. I won't disappoint you, Angela. Hi, darling. How are you? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in jail? It's a long story. I don't have time to explain everything to you. You need to pack a bag quickly. We've only got 10 minutes. Why should we pack a bag, Dad? Because we're going far away. Just take the most important things with you. We're buying everything new. But where are we going? I've bought a house. It is on a small island. No one will find us there. And how long are we staying there? Until we have new identities. Then we can come back to Europe. But we'll never be able to go back to England. That would be too risky. But I don't want to get out of here. I like it here. All my friends are here. We don't have time for that, Sarah. You'll make new friends. Otherwise, I'll buy you some. Now do as I tell you. We must hurry. No, I'm not taking part in this. I'm staying here. Honey, help me. Or do you want to leave Sarah alone here? I'm on Sarah's side. If she doesn't want to go, then I'll stay here too. You've made the mistakes. We're not going to take the blame for you. All right. Do what you want. But you won't get any more money from me. I think you should go now. Before the police gets here. One day, you're going to really regret this. I promise you that. Where is your family? They're not coming. I've tried to convince them. But it didn't work. I'm so sorry for you. But we have to go to the airport immediately. Otherwise, our mission will fail. Yes, we can go. It is clear. He escaped here. We need to find him, Andre. He cannot escape under any circumstances. That's the plane. The pilot is already waiting for you. It's probably the last time we see each other. I need to cover up all traces. Thank you so much for everything, Angela. It was always an honor working with you. The money is already in your account. 
Yes, it's Thomas. Hi, Thomas. It's Peter. We've found Polnikova. He's on a plane near South Square. I understand. We need to send a jet right away. There's no way he can escape. All right, the jet is about to take off. We've got him. We need to talk to him. I'll call him. What do you want from us? Hello, Mr. Polnikova. It's Peter from the Special Forces. Get out of here. Just leave me alone. It's not that simple. You broke out of jail. That is a serious offense. No one is ever going to lock me up. Did you understand? Please remain calm. We're here to find a compromise with you. We don't want anyone to get hurt. What is your offer? Turn around and land the plane now. Then we won't extend your sentence. You will go to jail for one more year as planned. If you don't, you'll go to jail for a very long time. How long? At least 10 years. So if I land now, nothing will change? That's right. It's a very fair offer. You should accept it. I'll make you a counter offer. We land the plane and give up. Then I'll pay you 500,000 euros. I'm not going to jail under any circumstances. He wants to pay money instead of going to jail. That is out of the question. He must go to jail. Otherwise, we have no deal. So what do you say? We are unable to accept the offer. You must go to jail. Otherwise, we have no deal. That won't happen. I'd rather try to escape. Are you sure? Look out the window. You'll see a fighter jet there. You have no chance. We'll see that. He tries to escape. We have to go after him. There's no way we can lose him. I'm reconnecting. What do you want now? Polnikova, please don't do that. If you try to escape again, then we'll shoot. Do what you need to do. I won't stop until I win. Polnikova, I'm very serious. Don't test my patience. Peter was your name, right? Yes, that is correct. Just do me a favor. I'm listening to you. Tell my daughter and wife that I love them. Accept our offer. Then you can tell that to your wife and daughter yourself. I think we both know it's too late for that. I'll tell you one last time, Polnikova. Don't try to escape. We must try to disconnect the jet. Can you do that? I can give it a try. However, the chances are very poor. The jet is just too fast. We've got to try it. Do it. He's escaping again. We need to activate the turbo. Polnikova, we warned you. Land the plane right now before it's too late. We both know that's not going to happen. All right? As you wish. Hi, Chris. It's Peter. What is the order, boss? He thinks we're not serious. Fire a warning shot. Try not to hit the plane. We just want to scare him. All right, boss. I'm launching the rocket now. The rocket is ready. Fire free. They really mean it. It doesn't matter. We must try to escape. I'll never surrender. I don't accept defeat. 
but I don't want to risk my life. Do what you get paid for. We still have one last chance. Don't mess it up. The trick is new. But you won't escape. He won't give up. Do what needs to be done. Okay, I understand. It's time, Chris. This time, the rocket must hit the plane. Are you sure, boss? Yes, we're certain. All right, I'll do it. Here comes the rocket. We've been hit. We're crashing. We've been hit. We're crashing. We won't survive. Pull yourself together. We must act quickly. Otherwise, this is our end. What are we supposed to do? Our plane has been hit. Are there parachutes here? Yes, there are two. Where are they? We need to find them. It's our only chance. Okay, we need to hurry. Where are parachutes? We're out of time. We have to go a step further. Perfect, there are exactly two parachutes. Do you know how to use a parachute? Yes, I learned it in the military in Poland. We need to go faster. Otherwise, we won't make it. Get the parachute and let's get out of here. Here is the door. We need to jump out. I don't know if I can do that. I'm so afraid. Pull yourself together. We don't have time for that. In a few seconds, the plane will hit. Quick, get out of here. Do you see that down there? Do you mean the water? No, farther back on the left. It looks like there's a small island there. Yes, you're right. I can see the island. We must keep going left. We need pull the parachute right now. Okay, let's do it on three. One, two, three. What does it look like, Chris? Did you hit the plane? Yes, boss. The plane just crashed. Very good job. You can turn around again. The mission is over. All right, boss. I'm turning around again. See you soon. We must manage to land on the island. We have to go a bit further to the left. We did it. That was very good. Yes, we did it. But how are we supposed to survive on this island? There is absolutely nothing here. The first thing we have to do is find water. Come with me. Hi, Christoph. Did everything go according to plan? Yes, boss. We hit the plane. It crashed. I've seen it with my own eyes. So there is no way that Polnikova survived? No, it can't be. The plane was completely destroyed. Polnikova can't cause us any more problems. Okay, now we're on to the hardest part. We need to call his family and get the message across. Shall I do that, boss? No, I'll do it. You can go, Kristoff. Yes, hello, it's Mrs. Polnikova. 
Hello, Mrs. Polnikova. This is Peter from the Special Forces. Let me guess it's about my husband. Yes, that is correct. Did you catch him and put him back in jail? Not really. The situation is different. What do you mean by that? We've made a very fair offer to your husband. But he rejected it and tried to escape. What happened then? We've warned him several times. But he didn't want to listen to us. He tried to escape again and again. We had no other choice. We had to fire. I'm sorry. But your husband was still on the plane. What's the matter, Mom? I've heard you cry all night. Did something happen? I really need to talk to you, Sarah. I got a phone call yesterday. The call came from the police. It was about your dad. Do we already know where exactly he is? As you know, your father has escaped from prison. He then tried to flee from the police. That was a huge mistake. What happened? Your father crashed his plane. In the middle of the Pacific Ocean. So I'm never going to see dad again? I'm so sorry sweetie. Have you found water yet? I only found these coconuts here. That's enough. That is very good. As long as we have water, we can survive for a long time. Now we need to find something to eat. Come with me. Today is our lucky day. There's a boat there. Someone has been to this island before. We can use the boat to catch fish. What do you think? Are you hungry yet? Yes, I'm dying of hunger. I really need something to eat. All right, come with me then. Do you already have something on the hook? No, unfortunately not yet. Come on, make an effort. This is about our lives. I think I've got something. There is a fish on my rod. Quick, pull it out. Before it swims away. I'm doing everything I can. Don't put pressure on me. I don't need that. I've got you now. You won't escape. Yep. I have one too. Our dinner is saved. What's up, Sarah? You look so sad. Did something happen? I just spoke to my mom. My dad tried to break out of jail. Oh my God. Did he do it? Yes, I even helped him with that. But then he wanted us to leave town. That was out of the question for me. I don't want to leave you and my mom. What happened then? My dad got on a plane. He tried to escape. But the police were on to him. They fired a rocket at the plane. Did your father survive? We don't know. My mom doesn't believe it. But the way I know my dad, he always has a plan B. We've got water and food. That is very good. We can survive here for a long time. Yes, but what are we supposed to do here? We can't stay on this island forever. Absolutely not. We need to get out of here as soon as possible. My time is far too valuable. Do you already have a plan? I usually have a plan for everything. But I didn't think of this situation. I need to figure something out. But I need some sleep first. Otherwise, I can't think clearly. I think it'll be dark soon. Yes, we won't have sunlight much longer. The fire must never go out. 
please stop. I'm just being careful. We found a boat, but there is no one on the island but us. I'm a bit concerned about that. Yes, you're right. We must prepare for the night. We eat the fish and then look for more wood. Then we can sleep for a few hours. You can go to sleep first. I'll keep watch. Oh my, I'm really tired too. Maybe I should close my eyes. Just for a moment. Oh my god, there is a tiger? I can see that for myself. What are we supposed to do now? We must remain calm. It can sense our fear. When we're too afraid, it attacks. How do you know that? Don't ask stupid questions. Just listen to me. What can we do? There's a spear behind you. I built it yesterday. We must hold it in the fire. Get out of here. Leave us alone. Wow, it worked. Yes, the tiger is gone for now. But we don't know when it will be back. Try to get some sleep. I need you tomorrow. How am I supposed to sleep now? Just close your eyes and give it a try. We need to get out of here as soon as possible. Today, the tiger left us alone. But it is dangerous here. Maybe he's got a whole pack here. We're definitely in great danger. What should we do now? We need to search the entire island again. Maybe we find something that can help us. Come with me. Mom, I need to talk to you for a minute. What can I do for you, darling? I think dad is still alive. Why do you think that? Don't you think it's strange that they never found the plane? The plane crashed in the middle of the ocean, Sarah. I really wish that your father survived. But I don't want to give you false hopes. The probability is really low. I know, mom. But you do know dad. He had a plan for everything. I'm so sorry Sarah. But you should get used to the fact that your father doesn't come back anymore. Hey Sarah. What are you doing here? I thought I wouldn't see you until tomorrow at school. Lisa, I really need your help. What happened? My mom doesn't believe it. But my dad is still alive. I know it. Sarah, are you sure? Yes. I can feel it. Okay, then we'll have to find him. How can we do that? I've got an idea. Come along. What are we doing here? My father has a big world map here. So your father started in Munich. He was on the westbound plane for about 20 minutes. You're good at math, aren't you? How far did he go? He must have flown about 120 kilometers. Is there anything on the map? Yes, there are several small islands. Oh my god. I think my dad is on one of those islands. We need to find him. There is nothing here. We're never going to get off this island. You should not be so pessimistic. Otherwise, we really won't make it. Do you see that mountain back there? Yes, what about it? We have to make it to the top. There we have a view of the entire island. Maybe we'll see something then. We've got to hurry. We don't have long until nightfall. Come on, we must move on. I can't anymore. My legs are weak. Come on, 
pull yourself together. We don't have time for that. It'll be dark soon. We've already seen a tiger. We cannot waste any time. Come on. You can do it. But I'm afraid of heights. Forget your anxiety. We're right at the summit. Come on, one last time. Well, let's see what we have here. There is nothing at all. I only see palm trees and sand. We're stuck here forever. Wait a minute. Do you see that back there? Oh my god, that's a... Yes, it is. Quick, we've got to get there. Oh my god. There is a plane. It looks like it's damaged. Can you repair it? I'll give it a try. Give it your best. It's our only chance to get away from here. A day later. How is the repair going? Is there anything I can do to help you? No thanks. I need to get the engine running first. Maybe you can help me out later. How much longer do you need? I can't say that. You don't learn that in flight school. I'm doing my best. Okay, then I'll find us something to drink and eat. Yes, that would be good. Lisa, I'm sure my dad is on one of the islands. What should we do? We need to get there somehow. But we don't have a plane. We don't need that. I know someone with a boat. He still owes me a favor. Are you in? Of course. I never say no to an adventure. Thank you, you're the best. Let us go. I really need to find something to eat. It would kill for a good steak now. But I probably won't find that on this island. That bird there looks delicious. But I have no chance of catching it. It is too fast. There must be something here. The mushrooms look delicious. We can make mushroom soup with it. I'll definitely take them with me. All I need now is some water. V. Very good, there are a few coconuts here. It is extremely hot. We must always drink enough. You're coming with me too. We're at the harbor. What exactly are we doing here, Sarah? I know someone here with a boat. Maybe he'll help us get to the islands. Why does he owe you a favor? I bought him the boat back then. He had little money. But he really wanted to see the whole world. So I sold one of my rings and bought him the boat. That sounds good. He'll definitely help us. Sarah, what are you doing here? I haven't seen you in ages. Hi Thomas. I really need your help. Yes, of course. What can I do for you? My dad is missing. I think he's on a small island west of here. Can you get us to the island? I actually have important appointments. But I owe you something. Do you have the exact coordinates of the island? Yes, we have them. It's all right. I'll take you there. Come on, I'll show you the ship. Thank you, Thomas. You're the best. Welcome to my ship. Just feel right at home. I've looked at the islands. Are you sure you want to go there? It's said to be very dangerous there. Yes, we need to get there. I need to know if my dad is still alive. It's all right. 
Then let's get going right away. It'll be a while before we arrive. Please follow me. Hang on, Dad. I'm coming. I've brought you food and something to drink. How are things going with the plane? Not so good, honestly. What's the matter? I fixed the plane. However, the engine does not work. Why isn't it working? The battery is empty. What can we do? The energy comes from a small crystal. It is mainly found in caves. If we find one of these, I might be able to get the engine running. Okay, so all we need is this crystal? Yes, that's right. What does it look like? It is small, round and blue. Okay, I'll find you the crystal. And then we'll get out of here once and for all. There must be a crystal like this somewhere around here. It'll be dark again soon. I can't waste any time. Maybe I'll find the crystal back there. That can't be true. I have found the crystal. But it is not alone. We've been hit. We're crashing. We won't survive. Pull yourself together. We must act quickly. Otherwise, this is our end. What are we supposed to do? Our plane has been hit. Are there parachutes here? Yes, there are two. Where are they? We need to find them. It's our only chance. Okay, we need to hurry. Where are parachutes? We're out of time. We have to go a step further. Perfect, there are exactly two parachutes. Do you know how to use a parachute? Yes, I learned it in the military in Poland. We need to go faster. Otherwise, we won't make it. Get the parachute and let's get out of here. Here is the door. We need to jump out. I don't know if I can do that. I'm so afraid. Pull yourself together. We don't have time for that. In a few seconds, the plane will hit. Quick, get out of here. Do you see that down there? Do you mean the water? No, farther back on the left. It looks like there's a small island there. Yes, you're right. I can see the island. We must keep going left. We need pull the parachute right now. Okay, let's do it on three. One, two, three. What does it look like, Chris? Did you hit the plane? Yes, boss. The plane just crashed. Very good job. You can turn around again. The mission is over. All right, boss. I'm turning around again. See you soon. We must manage to land on the island. We have to go a bit further to the left. We did it. That was very good. Yes, we did it. But how are we supposed to survive on this island? There is absolutely nothing here. The first thing we have to do is find water. Come with me. Hi, Christoph. Did everything go according to plan? Yes, boss. We hit the plane. It crashed. 
I've seen it with my own eyes. So there is no way that Polnikova survived? No, it can't be. The plane was completely destroyed. Polnikova can't cause us any more problems. Okay, now we're on to the hardest part. We need to call his family and get the message across. Shall I do that, boss? No, I'll do it. You can go, Kristoff. Yes, hello, it's Mrs. Polnikova. Hello, Mrs. Polnikova, this is Peter from the Special Forces. Let me guess it's about my husband. Yes, that is correct. Did you catch him and put him back in jail? Not really. The situation is different. What do you mean by that? We've made a very fair offer to your husband. But he rejected it and tried to escape. What happened then? We've warned him several times. But he didn't want to listen to us. He tried to escape again and again. We had no other choice. We had to fire. I'm sorry. But your husband was still on the plane. Did that really just happen? Yes, it really did happen. We were so close to finally go home again. I think we're going to be trapped on this island forever. Oh my god. That was a shark. As I said, the island is very dangerous. I need you to promise to be careful. Dad, are you here? It's me, Sarah. We're here to save you. Hello? Can you hear me? Perhaps Thomas was right. There's a very low chance that my dad is here. I think there's something on the beach. Quick Lisa, we have to get there. My dad is definitely here. But if your dad was on the plane, where is he now? What is that back there? What do you mean? Hi, Dad. Sarah, what are you doing here? I'm here to save you. You really came here for me? Yes, of course. I was worried about you. But how did you know I was here? Lisa and I found this island on a map. We weren't sure if you were here. But we had to come and look for you. I can't believe you actually came here for me. How did you get to this island anyway? Do you still remember Thomas? Yes, that was the young man you bought the ship for. Exactly. He still owed me a favor. So he brought me to this island. Do you have a ship with you? Yes, there is enough space for all of us. Does that mean we can finally get off this island? Yes, we can go home again. Where is the ship, Sarah? It's over there on the other side of the island. Let's get going then. Let's get off this island for good. How did you manage to survive on this island for so long? It wasn't easy. There are many dangerous animals on this island. That is why we must hurry. We should not waste any time. There's even a dragon here. It is probably sleeping right now. We don't know when it will wake up again. But we should get out of here as soon as possible. Very nice. So you found your father. We need to get to the ship quickly. A storm is coming. We can't leave too late. Otherwise, it will be too dangerous. So get everyone on the ship quickly. Welcome to my ship. Just feel at home here. Where exactly are we going? Let's go back home. We're going to Munich. But Dad, you can't go to Germany. You broke out of jail. 
Everyone thinks you didn't survive the crash. You could be a free man. Yes, darling, you're right. But what is my freedom worth? If I can't see my family. What do you want to do then? Will you go to jail voluntarily? We'll sort that out later. Let's go see your mom first. I must apologize to her. So we're here. Welcome back to Munich. Thank you once again, Thomas. We couldn't have done it without you. We're even now. You don't owe me any favors anymore. I was happy to do that, Sarah. I have to move on now. See you soon. So, Dad, are we going home? There is nothing I would rather do. A few minutes later. Hi, darling. Honey, oh my God. You're alive. What happened? It's a long story. A lot has happened in the last few days. But that is not important now. The only important thing is that I'm with you. I thought you didn't survive. I thought I'd never see you again. I know. I'm so incredibly sorry. It's all my fault. You shouldn't have gone through that. I hope you'll be able to forgive me someday. What are you going to do now? If the police find out that you're here, then you'll have to go to jail. That is not going to happen. Are you trying to escape again? No, I'll turn myself in. I'm going to jail voluntarily. That doesn't sound like you. Why are you doing that? It's the only way I can live a normal life again. I'm going to jail for one year. I'll come back to you after that. To my family. I've been in danger on this island several times. The only thing that kept me alive was the idea to see you again sometime. Love you, honey. Love you too. But I have to go now. I'll be back in a year. I'll be back with you in a year, Sarah. I hope you can forgive me someday. How many people are on the boat in total? A. 3. B. 5. C. 7. Leave a comment.